While many schools are still grappling with their back to school plans, today was the first day of class for Ottawa University. The fall semester is looking a lot different than years past. KCTV5's Leslie Aguilar is in Ottawa, Kansas for a look at what the university is doing to keep students, staff and the community safe. Right now, two students here at Ottawa University are quarantined after testing positive for COVID-19. The school tested all 780 students before classes began. The first day of classes at Ottawa University is happening two weeks earlier than usual. That's to eliminate fall break, so when students go home for Thanksgiving, they don't have to come back until spring semester. That's not the only thing different about this year. This is a challenging time for pretty much everyone. Lots of uncertainties. We've done the best we can. University President Reggie Swinica says the county health department is working closely with the school. They're testing every kid on this campus. That's a, that was a pretty easy thing for us to do, which is not so easy for maybe some universities that are considerably bigger than us. Other safety protocols include a mask requirement and daily student screening, complete with a temperature check and a bracelet to prove you've been screened. The color of the bracelet will change daily and will be required to enter any classroom or public space. Professors will socially distance from students as much as possible and sanitize surfaces daily. I didn't think I'd be coming my freshman year and having to, you know, wear a mask and, you know, family couldn't come visit me. And so it's definitely a lot different than what I thought it was going to be. Freshman Jack Kruger is from Wakefield, Kansas, about two hours away. He lives on campus and is on the track team. What we're doing in track is just up in the air. We really don't know what's going on and, you know, the coaches don't either. Like many of his classmates, he's just excited to be here. But for Michelle Amesqua, uh, it's pretty scary. She was recruited from Houston, Texas to play softball for the Ottawa Braves. We should be able to play in the spring and then workouts. They're going to wash our clothes after like any little thing. So that's different. Pretty good though, because I don't have to wash. Amesqua has never been so far from her family. And in the age of masks, she says making new friends has been a bit of a challenge. It makes it hard. So I'm like, hi, what's your name? And then I'm like, oh, this person just looks like you and has the same mask. Which one's which? But <laughs> I'm like, oh. But she's glad the mask mandate and other safety protocols are in place. We don't want this virus to disrupt <laughs> an already disrupted schedule and uh, kids' dreams and hopes. International students or students from states that are on the Kansas mandatory quarantine list actually arrived here back in July. That's to ensure their quarantine was over by the start of classes today. Reporting in Ottawa, Kansas, Leslie Aguilar, KCTV 5 News.